everybody, how's it going? Craft Draft here with Good Morning Gaming. I'm Juby. And today we are going to do something different. We are going to do a versus. Uh, we'll both introduce our own games and we will compare them. They will be of the same genre esque and we'll compare the pros and cons of what they are. For our gameplay video, we are going to play each other's choice. And then we're probably going to go against each other in each one. Oh, for sure. And then, uh, then we'll hit up uh, with uh, our reviews and we'll review our, our game and our friend's game. But uh, my game is Hearthstone. Uh, this is a Blizzard game for Warcraft, Starcraft, Diablo, Overwatch, same people. They made Hearthstone. Uh, it's a World Warcraft based card game. Uh, it's free to play. There is PvP, obviously. What kind of card game would it be without PvP? get on, you play with other players. Uh, there's a ranked and a non-ranked. Uh, there's also PvE. Uh, you can download DLC for raids, such as the Molten Core, Black Rock Spire, Blackwing Lair, Naxxramas, different raids that are actually in World of Warcraft. You can play the different bosses, beat the bosses, get their legendary cards. It's, it's kind of cool. Um, there are miscellaneous booster packs that get given out for things such as playing it on your PC, playing it on your smartphone, playing it on a tablet, or buying other Blizzard games like Overwatch. I actually just logged in the other day and got an Overwatch back for my cards. Uh, there are microtransactions because it is free to play. Uh, excuse me. But these microtransactions are buying booster packs or buying the DLC. Uh, the only other aspect of the game that I can think of offhand is that there is crafting. Very minimal, very basic, very easy. You have cards, and if you have doubles of those cards, or even if you don't use cards, you disenchant them, you get dust. With that dust, you create other cards. So let's say you disenchant the legendary card, you'll get 800 dust. Disenchant 18 other cards, and you have a total of 2,500 dust. Well, now you can turn around and make a different legendary card. So it's kind of a cool feature. If you, if you have a bunch of cards you don't want, and one card you or two cards you do, get rid of the ones you don't want, make the ones you do. I think that rhymed. That, I'm going to turn that into a song. I'm going to download an auto tune. He, he makes songs all the time. It's ridiculous. That's shenanigans. <laughs> no, wait, it's not shenanigans. I do make songs in my head all the time. He's actually working on a good morning game you want. Don't get started. <laughs> but uh, I'll let him continue my spiel with uh, Magic Duels. Alright, so Magic Duels is a Wizard of the Coast game. Uh, it's one of the first TCGs that ever came out. And if you don't know what TCG is, it's a trading card game. Uh, recently, I think back in 2014, at least what I can remember, they had uh, Magic the Gathering, I think it was Planeswalkers. Yeah. Can't, I'm not too sure. Uh, this is, I believe, a 2015 installment. It is Magic Duels. It's a PvP and a PvE based game. Uh, you earn coins throughout the game in which you can use to purchase booster packs. Booster packs are what you use to get create, build your library. Uh, they come with rares, mythics, commons, and uncommons. What would a mythic be? A um, mythic is going to be your rarest of the rare. The highest tier? Yeah. Okay. So like a legendary yeah, it'd be the equivalent to the legendary. Okay. Um, this game lets you completely customize your deck. The other games did not. However, the the actual card game, you could. I mean, that's how you play the card game. Uh, this game is known to have somewhat of a difficult learning curve. At least when I started playing, it was pretty difficult, but I was also very young. It is another free-to-play game. Also involves mic microtransactions, though it's not needed. If you play the game and just keep grinding through, you'll earn the coins to buy everything you need. It's just if you don't want to spend all that time, throw down some cash, get your coins, get whatever you want. You can buy up to like booster box, which comes with 32 or 36 booster packs in it. Holy crap. Yeah, you can expand your library very well. Yeah. So, let's go. Um, so the plan for this week is that we are going to play the other person's game. He's going to play Hearthstone. I'm going to play Magic Duels. I've never played Magic Duels. He's never played Hearthstone. Uh, we're going to play it, record it, put it out there on Wednesday. 
Uh, we're also going to play against each other. And then come Friday, for the coffee talk, we are going to review the other person's game. On top of that, we will be reviewing our own game. But it's more of, we're going to do our objective review, where we just give our straight up list, but then we're going to give our own personal opinions of each other's game. I think what we should do is, do is at the very end, pick which one is going to come out of the best. Okay. And then we can, you know. Yeah. We can absolutely do that. But uh, I think that's all we have to talk about in this episode of Rise and Shine. So uh, remember, smash the crap out of that subscribe button. Smash the crap out of that like button. It definitely helps us out. Uh, hit us up on Facebook, hit us up on Twitter, links in the description. Check us out at gmorninggaming.com, which is our own personal website that we're running. That too, that, that, that's turning into fun. Uh, you can catch No Man's Sky news, because I'm so excited for No Man's Sky. I can't stop thinking about it, but then i got to remind myself it's coming out in like two months. One month. It's closing in. It's closing. <laughs> but uh, I'm, I'm super excited for it. Um, but we also have uh, blogs, posts, news posts for other stuff that we put on there. Oh, and uh, Loot Crate. Uh, we just proposed a new term for our agreement so that we can get a promo code for you guys. Uh, we're going to take less of a cut so you guys can get a discount. Hopefully they uh, agree to that. We will let you know as soon as we know what's going on. Probably with a little blurb video. But you got to check the website. That's where you can stay up to date with our channel. And as always, have a good morning, Jamie.